Hey guys, what's going on? It's Saturday. This is going to be my vlog for today. What I wanted to do is kind of just touch on a few things. I'm going to start, I really got a simple agenda. First off, I, these Nick and Nora, you're probably finding that they're hard to get on awesomedrinks.com because I had an issue where the, the supplier uh, actually has now an exclusive agreement with another company. So I had to build my own. And by build my own, that meant engraving them. So as you can see, all of our Nick and Nora glasses, once uh, once the, this is a prototype, for once the rest come in, are gonna have a CMC logo branded in the foot. That way they're mine and I can sell them as, as I please, however I please, and I don't have to deal with people locking me out of exclusives. That was point one. Point number two. Now I've actually created this video twice. It was too long, so I'm doing it again. Second point, I have a new website. It's not out yet. You can check it out if you want to. It's called drink4.me. Drink for me. Me and my buddy Rob have been kind of hashing this out, but it's a cocktail database. It's not done yet. Matter of fact, it's barely got any code. Um, my buddy Rob, you might have seen him on the show. He was in the golf contest cocktail tasting, so uh, the golf cart that was submitted, but not golf cart, it was something to do with golf, used grass vodka. Um, he, you could go, I'll see if I can link it up up here. Uh, so Rob and I have been working as software engineers, that was our background, since college. We used to sit in the college labs, see it's already getting long, uh, sit in the college labs eating pizza and coding like all the time. Then, then I got my first job at a startup company which is a company got purchased and that's actually how I'm still funding the fact that I'm a full time YouTuber that still isn't making enough money. Um, and I got him into that company and then we moved to another startup company and we've been developing uh, world class test tools. Uh, for for small businesses to be able to scale their their quality assurance testing and break stuff So I thought I really wanted to collab with him on something We used to do video games together and like build try and build video games 3d engines and stuff before it was cool and uh, We never had something where there was an audience already if that makes sense So, you know if we wanted to make a video game, we have no audience He started a golf ball company and then had some issues with Titleist and so we've we've both gone different directions. He's gone golf, and I've gone um, cocktails. But we both love to code, and I I got him on board and got him signed up to do some some software development for me. Um, and I'm gonna help him out once I kind of get back up to speed on stuff. But he's been doing it up until like yesterday, so it's it's still fresh in his head. Um, I have to catch up because it's been a few years since I've done some of this uh, deeper level of software development. But the cocktail database is gonna be super simple. I want it to look very similar to Google. When you want to search for a cocktail, all it's going to be able to do is find cocktails. And it'll have two options. You can either search for the cocktail by name or search by ingredients. And that's it. Simple. Simple. Little search box. I don't want all kinds of crazy graphics. That's all. When you sign in, you can add all the ingredients that you own. And then it should be able to take everything from the cocktail database, look at what you have, and see what you can make by just saying, tell me what I can make, and have it generate a list. None of this is revolutionary. The PDT app on iPhone does this, uh, multiple sites have done this. I've worked with GarnishBar.com in the past in sponsorships for the, when he had done this, the guy that developed that and then he sold it off. He was more of a designer and he didn't have, and he hired the, the coders. I am a coder with some slight design background. So the design's super simple, so it should be pretty easy to nail up. My goal is vol version one. So this is what I need from you guys. I need some help. First off, this is two, but one, first off, I'd love to know if anybody wants to step up to help contribute cocktails for this database. Because right now the database is going to have zero. And I'm going to need people. I'll, I'll populate a few of the big beginning ones. I'll take some of my photos from our, either Instagram or from the show. Or I'll remake the stupid cocktail if I have to to get some really nice photos. To kind of put a, a list in there. But then I'm going to need people to submit them. If you don't have photos, fine. I'll, I'll probably have to make a photo or take a photo or do whatever I have to do. But I want to be able to make it a nice quality uh, database, not like the ones that you see on Drinks Mixer that are just like whatever everybody's put in. Even Tipsy Bartender wouldn't make half those recipes. Like they're just below college level, just garbage. And then even those cocktails that are classic, they're not the right proportions or anything. So the second role I will eventually have is to have these contributors help fix cocktails that have been submitted to make sure they're right. I want tasting notes in there. I want this to be legit. And I really, my target audience right now is you guys. Um, I know you've been asking for years for it, and it's a lot of work. It's not an iOS app, it's not an Android app, it's a website that'll be built so it can run on mobile since mobile's huge. 
but that's kind of where I want to go. So how do I fund this? This is the trick. I only want to get initial funding, well, as much money as possible, but initial funding for the project. So I could give Rob uh, money for the time he's going to be spending on this and inspire him to want to work on version two. What I'm going to need is some cash. Now, obviously, I've got Patreon, which I use for my house and myself, and then I got awesome drinks. I've got different levels of where cash come in. I know you guys contribute to this. So I was trying to figure out how can I make it so you'll want to spend money on this initially so that I could pay them. Um, I'm not going to worry about how do I make money overall because I think it's a good resource to have. And if I could figure out a way to make money outside of cross-promoting with this, the YouTube show by having embedded links for the videos and cross-promoting to awesome drinks for like, hey, this cocktail needs some sort of syrup. Go buy it here. Um, making money secondary. Getting money to fund its initial development is primary. So I was thinking maybe having a, like a little domain that just has some stuff that I could sell, like one of a kinds in some cases, like bottles of bitters that we, we've made on the show that um, I could sell off. Um, I have some refurb bottles, stuff that it's either been used or, or, or whatever a few times, but not enough, and I don't know what to do with it. I just got random junk over there. I could take some of the empty bottles and sign them and sell those. Um, but like, you know, anything like, Oh, if you give me fifty dollars to help the the site's growth, I'll send you a bottle of cherry oak bitters that I made, um, sous vide sous vide style or whatever. So my goal right now is to build some more videos around bitters, and I'm gonna have a lot of excess bitters because I'm just, it usually makes a big batch. So I could take those bottles and I can put those off to the side and say, hey, I can sell these to help promote the show, um, or to help promote the website. Is that does that sound like a good idea? And I'm, I know people have donating in all kinds of ways. They're buying from the store, so I really want to have something for to, in exchange for you. Kind of, my, uh, I don't know, stuff from the show as a reward for helping donate. That doesn't cost me too much money. Otherwise, it doesn't make any sense, right? If it cost me fifty dollars to make a bottle of bitters, and you're paying fifty, and I'm getting zero, it was a waste of my time. Um, and I don't know how I'm going to deal with Europe in this case because I know the shipping is crazy, so i got to figure that out. But what do you guys think of that? Um, I'm going to work on the site. I'm going to get it done. It's going to be super simple, so a lot less features to get launched, and then we can work on features as we go. I'd love to know what your input is, and then once the site is launched and I can show everybody, I'd love to have people contribute and come up with other ideas to make it better. You can check it out now. It's drink4.me. D-R-I-N-K-F-O-R dot M-E. There's a newsletter that you can sign up and when it launches, I'll blast it out to everybody so they all can come in and see it. So you can sign up now if you want to see what it looks like uh, or you want the domain and you want to be there when it launches. Um, that's it. We're done. Tell me what you think. Comments below. We're teaching how to drink. Oh, hi. You're still here? Well, while you're here, why don't you subscribe, check out our Patreon, uh, maybe donate to the show, and there's a couple links down here for a video, one that you might prefer, or one of our awesome playlists. So check that out while you're here. We're done here.